Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about determination of the clotting time by the capillary tube method. It is a minor practical in the subject physiology for the first year MBBS student. So, let us quickly start what are the requirements for doing this particular practical. So, we require the equipments or materials for this sterile finger prick like surgical spirit, lancets and cotton swabs or gauze pieces. Then we require the capillary tubing, okay. This capillary tubing is the most important uh, structure what we need. It is around 8 to 15 centimeter long and uh, 1.5 millimeter in diameter. Then a stopwatch, you can use either a wristwatch or a, just a stopwatch from the mobile or a uh, from a wristwatch, okay. Now, let us start the practical, but before that uh, I will tell you what is clotting time. So, it is the time taken for the blood that is from the onset of bleeding to for the formation up to the formation of the blood clot. It is around 2 to 8 minutes. In between we will discuss the theory part, we will start the procedure directly. First, we have to give the thorough instructions to the person or patient. We have already given the instructions to him. Now, with aseptic precautions, we are going to prick the uh, middle finger here. You should use either the middle or the ring finger, okay. Now, you can see. Now, with one stroke, the blood is coming. As soon as you prick it, you should on it, okay. You should on the timer and you have to bring the capillary tube near that drop of blood and see with the due to the capillary section the blood will come into that capillary tube okay so you have to collect up to three fourth of that capillary tube minimum and uh, make sure that there should be no air bubbles we are seeing a small of air bubble but now it's just for educational purpose but when you do for as a diagnostic purpose so please make sure there should be no air bubbles okay for a good clotting time it should not be there should not be any air bubbles okay up to three fourth of the tube you have to take at least minimum okay then wipe out that ex excess of the blood then the most important thing is we have to hold that tube in between the palms okay up to two minutes uh, why means because uh, the blood blood is a fluid which is present in our human body so once we remove out then due to the temperature changes it may affect the clotting time, okay. So, that is what to maintain the body temperature, we have to keep it till what time? Up to totally 2 minutes right from the uh, time of onset of bleeding that is the pricking, okay. After 2 minutes, again we will do some procedure, I will let you know. Meanwhile, just want to tell some uh, theory facts regarding that uh, clotting time and bleeding time. You know, we have already done one experiment on bleeding time. So, clotting time is generally more than the bleeding time. Bleeding time is the time of onset of the bleeding up to the formation of the platelet plug that is called as temporary hemostatic plug it is around 1 to 5 minutes. But clotting time is up to the formation of the definitive clot by extrinsic or intrinsic pathway by so many clotting factors by so it is around 2 to 8 minutes okay and uh, we will show you the even the fibrin thread how it looks okay now it is uh, just 5 seconds for 2 minutes. So as soon as uh, we reach the 2 minutes now we will wait for another 30 seconds. Uh, and we will break this capillary tube, okay. We will break this capillary tubing every 30 seconds, okay. We will break the capillary tubing uh, every 30 seconds so that we should know the exact bleeding time. So, just see now, it is uh, now at 2 minute 30 second, we will just break around 1 to 2 centimeter. It is up to you depending upon the length of the capillary tube you use, we will just approximately around. 1 centimeter will break from one end, okay. Now, you can see we have break. Now, still the blood is in the liquid part. We will keep that here somewhere on a piece of a paper, okay. Then, uh, another we have to wait for another 30 second, that is 2 minutes 30 second, we have broke that first piece, then exactly at around 3 minutes, okay. 3 minutes, we will uh, cut one more piece, 1 centimeter piece. See, we have cut that. Again, it's still there is a no fibrin thread. The blood is in the fluid portion. We'll keep it there on a piece of a paper. Okay, that is at the three minutes. That was first at two minute thirty second. Okay, now further at three minute thirty second. That is the next thirty second. Again, further one centimeter piece. We will try to collect, break it. So now it's three minute thirty seconds. Now again we are breaking it. Okay, so still the clot is yet to form, not yet totally form. 
So, totally 3 pieces we have. Now, again at 30 second interval at 4 minutes, okay, 4 minutes we will once again we will break this, then we will see whether the clot is formed and if the clot is formed we can see the fibrin thread, okay. Let us see now, again one more, yes. Now, now see the blood has clotted, there is a fibrin thread. If we pull this, you can actually see, you can actually see the fibrin thread. Now, blood has clotted, it has become solid, okay. Now, this is the fibrin thread. Now, this is uh, the clotting time, okay. This is the clotting. If you still want to see the fibrin thread, I can show you how it looks, but the clotting time is up to 4 minutes only, okay. Just you can see. Just to show you the how the fibrin thread looks, okay. I think it is difficult to focus. So, it was there. Anyway, so uh, totally how many pieces were there? We have removed up to 4 minutes, up to 4 minutes. 4 minutes means it was uh, uh, 2 minutes, then 2 minutes 30 seconds, then 3 minutes then 3 minutes 30 seconds and 4 minutes, okay. So, the bleeding time was 4 minutes. So, we have to write the report. So, we have to write here at 30 seconds, again next 30 seconds, next 30 seconds and next 30 seconds. So, totally it was 4 minutes. So, totally we have to write 4 minutes. So, we have to give our report as the bleeding time of the particular person is 4 minutes. We have to write the name, gender and the age of the person and report the bleeding time. So, normally it is 2 to 8 minutes. If it is more than 8 minutes or 10 minutes, we have to report the patient to the nearest healthcare services, okay. And if there is increase in the bleeding time, the most common disorder is hemophilia due to the deficiency of the factor 8. Thank you.